guys, my name is Crystal. Welcome to my YouTube channel. Welcome old subscribers, welcome new. If you like my videos, press that like button and please do subscribe. Good morning. Good morning. It's Wednesday. Alexa, what's the date today? Today is Wednesday the 1st of March. Alexa, what's the time? The time is 8.46 a.m. Alexa, what's the weather like? In Rochester, it's 4 degrees Celsius with cloudy skies. Today, you can expect showers, with a high of 7 degrees and a low of 0 degrees. Would you also like tomorrow's weather? Yes. Yes. Tomorrow in Rochester, it looks like there will be mostly sunny weather, with a high of 8 degrees Celsius and a low of 1 degree. Alexa, can you tell me a joke? Knock knock. Who's there? Noah. Noah who? No. Ah, uh, I'm sorry. I've got the wrong address. Right guys. So it's Wednesday. It's the middle of the week. So the beginning of the week has gone. We're looking forward to the end of the week. The weekend. Some of us anyway. And um, the weather it's rained overnight so the ground is wet i'm gonna to have to wear my wellington boots onto the field today um pretty much the same as every other day um one thing you find out is that pain isn't so bad when you're with someone so when you're talking and you're chatting and even arguing, it takes the mind off, mind off your pain so you don't feel so bad. So I think when you're on your own, you tend to dwell on things more, don't you? So you tend to like worry more. And I know I Google a lot of symptoms and I'm, when I'm on my own, I'm worrying it's something when it probably isn't. Um, so company does make pain less painful. When someone is occupying your mind, someone is there to say, oh, it's not, not that bad. I've been on my own for some time now, um, on and off, since I was divorced in 2008. So I've spent a few years with my parents from 2008 till 2012. Um, and then I had that flat at Lansdowne Court and um, I spent some time my son was staying with me till he grew up because he was still a teenager when he came down to see me so he stayed with me till 2015 it's now 2023 so I've been on my my own wholly for eight years now eight uh, completely on my own and when I used to go up and see my dad, one of the things he used to say was, look, you need to find somebody, you know. You're getting on a bit now. You need to find someone, otherwise you're just going to end up like me. And I, I, I have ended up like my mum, actually, just stuck in the flat by myself. Um, but I've, got, I've had other problems, um, so you need to, you don't want to bring, bring a partner into your life when you've got some issues you'd like to try and sort them out first um, but this is a day and age where there's nothing available uh, everything costs money uh, after coronavirus things you just can't get hold of things um, to find a therapist uh, a, 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 somebody that can help with the things that I've gone through it's not just I don't need an ordinary therapist I need somebody that's dealt with child abuse issues and knows what people suffer when they go from a, a child to an adult an adult because I'm what I'm called is an adult survivor of child sex abuse so I'm an adult survivor and um, you never get over being abused as a child as I've said yesterday but there are people out there that that could help me uh, get get along with it um, Right, so, last night I took Max out for a walk, as I told you, I came back, there was that guy taking a photograph of the parking sign, 
flashing like a mobile phone light so it went off um, when I came back I put the TV on I tend to watch a lot of A&E now but I was watching uh, shoplifting they had five star last night at a couple of episodes of people shoplifting in a shopping centre not one like Chatham because Chatham Shopping Centre is called the Pentagon Centre and it's very very small they have security guards in there they did during coronavirus because a couple of security guards told me and my son to not sit on the floor so if you remember when the coronavirus first started um, they wouldn't allow people to sit on benches you had to have be two meters apart so they uplifted uprooted the benches the seats they just pulled them up off of the ground and removed them and me and my son went into greg's because greg's was still open then and we had a coffee and we had like a, a pasty each and we went upstairs and we we sat on the floor and two security guards, they were quite rude, they weren't polite, they went, you can't sit here, you're going to have to get up. So me and my son got up and we, we moved. The next day, um, people were sat down in the seating area on the floor and security guards were walking past them. So I am being victimised as well. I do get picked on. I get picked on by security guards a lot and I'm a middle-aged woman and yeah that, that's another thing they do is they tell you off and then the next day they let someone get away with what you've been told off with which I find a bit stupid and silly because that's just being ridiculous that is victimization and it's also right if you you don't feel like go when when somebody is rude to you you don't feel like going in that place again do you but it never stopped me because i queued up during those coronavirus uh, years outside sainsbury's really long queues right down near the outside the door i remember it I, i've got videos of it standing outside in queues with all the shit that was going on in those queues towards me um so just to get my food to eat um yeah so i was watching shoplifting in the shopping center i can't remember where it was now but there was a a guy had walked into the shopping center with a hammer in his pocket a hammer um shoplifting in that place they banned them for a year so a lot of them were banned for a year and then he, he, the, the security guard went up to some use he said you're annoying you're annoying people in the shopping center he said just go outside he said if you come back in again we'll ban you we'll ban you for life if you come in this shopping center and annoy the customers we'll ban you for life they buggered off this guy with a hammer was a drug addict and the security guards were explaining that a lot of drug addicts are paranoid. They're paranoid, like schizophrenics. They're paranoid. So they think people are after them. When they've taken their drugs, they walk into the shopping centre and they think people are after them and they're going to attack them. So this guy was walking into the shopping centre with a hammer but, but they take your mug shot, you see. So anyone that's banned in that shopping centre, they take their photograph and they have to sign a bit of paper. So if they walk into that shopping centre again, their face comes up on the system and, and the security guards pounce on them. But just, you, so that has made me a bit wary because anyone could be a drug addict on the streets and have a weapon in their pocket and be paranoid. Drugs cause paranoia. Drugs do. They become like scripts and schizophrenics, thinking people are after them. So I'm going to be more wary on the street now, especially, I think. I watched that, and then I watched a and &E with a woman undergoing a heart bypass because one of her valves uh, was enlarged. 
and if it got any larger it was going to like burst and she would have been dead so I watched a heart bar bypass operation on the TV last night um, and uh, people coming in after massive traffic collisions with their pelvis and legs and arms broken that was on TV last night got up this morning, made myself a cup of coffee I'm going to make myself some porridge I'm going to go about my day like I usually do trying to keep safe, avoiding trouble and, and when I do go out, I don't know when is just being careful on the streets um, because there you are, there are drug addicts drug addicts out there that carry weapons and they're paranoid um, when I was going up to my mum's in the taxi yesterday the, 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 I was in the back seat and I didn't have my seat belt on in the back seat and the taxi's alarm went off inside the taxi it went off he went you haven't got your seat belt on can you put your seat belt on he said, if you don't put your seatbelt on, the, the noise will stop in a minute. So I put my seatbelt on in the back seat of the taxi. We went up and there was cars parked on the pavement. There was cars parked on the pavement. There's no policing down here whatsoever. I told you, they walk into the car, they take stock out and walk away with it. There's no policing. There is a massive car on the pavement, people walking past it, going halfway into Chatham, there was a, a, like a rusty coloured car on the pavement. There's no policing in the Medway towns. There isn't. There isn't. This is why it's got quite a high crime rate and it, it has, Chatham has got a high crime rate and you know I still go in there to, for various things because there's a Sainsbury's there and I like to shop in Sainsbury I like to shop in Sainsbury and there's an Iceland store in there still I believe although I don't really walk down the bottom of Chatham High Street I know go camping has gone that didn't last long, did it? The go camping store, but there's no need for people. They can't afford camping equipment. People can't afford camping. camping. And, you know, I haven't been on holiday for 12 years. I haven't been on holiday for 12 years. I, I personally have not been on holiday for 12 years. The last holidays I went to were caravan parks with my dad. I went to All Hallows Caravan Park, um, which is in Kent, isn't it? Rochester, Kent, All Hallows. Dover, the White Cliffs of Dover. Um, I went to Seaford, but that not, was, wasn't for a good reason. Seaford, it's got a nice beach, but the pebbles hurt your feet. Canterbury, oh, that's a nice place. Um, Hythe, Dimchurch, Dungeness, Folkestone, Cambersand. I went all over the place last year as well. Last year was the best year for going out. This year it's going to be dismal. I can just tell it's going to be like um, 2019 and a year that you forget. I'm sure 2023 is going to be a year I forget. Don't forget Mother's Day is coming up um, in the middle of March. And I, 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 I mean, I don't care if I don't get anything because all this pretending I'm a man, of course I'm not going to get any Mother's Day cards, then no, no, I'm not going to get any Mother's Day cards or any Mother's Day flowers, I bet, because of all this bullshit that's going on. So I have to get my own flowers. Not that I really like flowers because of the hay fever, but probably get myself something. I'll buy myself, uh, my mum something. Of course I will. 
but I doubt that I'll go up on a Sunday because it's getting a hold, of, a hold of transport. So I'll probably go up beforehand and, and give my mother a Mother's Day present and a, a Mother's Day card. I, I, I wouldn't leave my mother without a card and a present. I wouldn't do that to my mum anyway. all covered up shit you say because there's these you know I used I used to go around with a camera and take my surroundings and they take the piss out of that so you've got a guy with a female profile and he's a man going around London filming London you know and, 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 and he's filming London like I used to film Rochester taking the piss that's what it feels like and I just don't want to do that anymore and I'm a woman I'm not a bloke I mean a lot of women wear beanie hats and coats in the cold weather it doesn't mean they're men does it so the weather it's raining it's a bit cold I put the heating on for a bit I've got money to top up my gas and electric at the moment anyway I have not had posts for three days. The lift is still out of order and it probably will be um, because they're trying to make out that I, you know, that, that uh, I live somewhere else so that they make the other, the other blocks of flats busy and more interesting than this one. So all the activity goes opposite or down to the bottom flats. But because I live here, the fucking lift is bust that bird seed bin with nuts on it is still in the stairwell. It's got nuts. Every time I go out of my communal door, it's got nuts on it. I stare at the word nuts. All the other flats have got no obstructions. Nothing like that. It's just this one. Wherever I go, and it's not nuts telling the truth. It's not nuts They're trying to make out, you know, I'm talking rubbish when it's the truth. It's a good job the cleaners still come in the building and clean the flats. You can imagine what it would be like if there was no cleaners. But I mean, that's it. It's because I'm in here. The, 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 um, the lift hasn't been working for two months. And this nuts bin is in the stairwell. And the funny people's names, you know. Nut beam. And all the things my dad used to do. He used to call himself different names. And when I went up to my mum's yesterday, she went, she went Ness, because my nickname is Ness. She went, check your dad's old tablet. Check his tablet. She said, um, obviously I've lost Derek, and I've lost him for two years, and I like to keep Derek's mobile phones and Derek's tablets, which she does at that Doral Garden, I mean the computer tablets. She said... I came out of the bathroom the other night and the cable was off the tablet, she said. So I went to put the cable back in and Derek's had friend requests. Derek has and he's dead. So I opened up the tablet because she told me to and my mum's name was on the tablet. Jennifer was on my father's tablet. Because the Amazon Alexa recognised Derek's tablet. Sorry, I'm not sure about that. So the tablet was communicating with the Amazon Echo Dot. Because my I've got an Amazon Echo Show, which is like a video screen. And my mum's got an Amazon Echo Dot, which is just a round little box. But that communicates with my dad's tablet, and it communicates with the Amazon Fire Stick. So it, controlled the t it can control the TV, because the Amazon turned the t television over yesterday when I was watching it. I was watching a great film as well. And my mum spoke to Alexa while I was watching the film, and she turned it bloody over. 
and I couldn't get it back on so I turned over and GP's behind, behind closed doors was on with Dr. Jennifer Cogan or something. Jennifer Coogan Cogan, something like that. And my mum was going, you know like Eminem goes, oh, I'm the Slim Shady, I'm the real Slim Shady. All the other Slim Shadies, they're all imitating. Well, my mum said to Alexa something, and she came, Alexa came up with Jennifer Warner. And my mum went, Jennifer Warner's not Jennifer. And then, like, it turned the TV off, and my mum said, what are you doing? I said, it's Alexa, she's turning the television over to Jennifer Warner. And then I tried to, she cut my film off, and I put it onto the TV, and Jennifer was on, was a doctor on GP's Behind Closed Doors. My name's Crystal, and my Alexa apps, uh, app is um, under my name. Alexa, who are you registered to? Hmm, I don't know that one. Alexa, whose Amazon Alexa are you? Alexa is an intelligent personal assistant developed by Amazon. First used in the Amazon Echo and the Amazon Echo Dot devices developed by Amazon Lab 126. It is capable of voice interaction, music playback, making to-do lists, setting alarms, streaming podcasts, playing audiobooks, and providing weather, traffic, and other real-time information, such as news. Alexa can also control several smart devices using itself as a home automation system. Well, you like can control Amazon Echo, Fire Sticks, and etc. Light bulbs. I was actually thinking of getting some uh, Alexa's I, I, uh, light bulbs because she can turn the light bulbs on and off for you. Right, right, guys, I think that's enough for the moment. Uh, but this uh, Amazon and Echo show is registered to me. My name is Crystal, and I'll see you all later.